In terms of financial scale, few cities can match Hong Kong. Hong Kong is one of the world's largest financial centers. The secret of this success lies to some degree with this Asian Tiger's level financial playing field and the regulators who monitor it. Created in 1989 in response to the stock market crash in 1987, the Securities and Futures Commission, or SFC, is one of the four regulatory bodies charged with overseeing various sectors of the financial industry. An independent statutory body, the SFC regulates securities and futures activities in Hong Kong. It also supervises Hong Kong Exchanges and Clearing Limited, whose subsidiary, the Stock Exchange of Hong Kong, is the frontline regulator of listing matters. The SFC also liaises with the banking and insurance regulators over the distribution of retail investment products by banks and insurance intermediaries. The implementation of the Securities and Futures Ordinance in 2003 expanded the SFC's regulatory functions and powers. Under the mandate of the Ordinance, the SFC is empowered to enforce the laws governing the securities and futures markets in Hong Kong and set codes, guidelines and rules in the process. Licensed and supervise brokers, investment advisors and fund managers. Supervise the exchanges, automated trading services and clearing houses. Authorize offering documents and or investment products for retail investors. Oversee regulations governing takeovers and mergers of listed companies. And educate investors on the risk of investing and their rights and responsibilities. 你好啊,我們證監會來的,約咗你哋啱散開會。The SFC's regulatory work starts with setting the ground rules of a licensing regime to ensure that market participants such as brokers, investment advisors and fund managers are properly qualified and supervised. 好,請你等一陣。As of the 31st of March 2010, 34,950 individuals have been licensed by the SFC to carry on securities and futures broking, investment advisory, capital raising and asset management. These licensees were accredited to 1,631 licensed corporations that also have been licensed by the SFC. Well, everybody thinks of our role as the enforcer, and that's the high-profile piece of work, but equally important is educating the market, is developing regulation, allowing innovation to develop in markets. In an efficient and transparent manner, the SFC strives to achieve a balance between maintaining market order and promoting market innovation so as to maintain Hong Kong's status as a competitive international financial center. The SFC protects investors by taking action against market misconduct. This involves painstaking investigation work. Members of the public help us in this work by agreeing to give evidence in court and offences can lead to wrongdoers being heavily fined or, in the worst cases, jailed. Our enforcement actions cover a wide spectrum, ranging from misconduct of intermediaries, to market manipulation by intermediaries or substantial shareholders or investors, to insider dealing of listed shares by market players. On a less visible level, the SFC regulates certain listing matters and activities of listed companies. Under the dual filing regime, the SFC may review listing applications to help identify possible misleading and inaccurate disclosure by listing applicants and listed companies. Under the codes on takeovers and mergers and share repurchases, the SFC regulates takeovers, mergers, privatization activities, etc., of public companies so their shareholders are treated even handedly. Confidence is a, is a massive part of um, the success of a financial centre. 
and confidence comes from a predictable set of rules, even-handed interpretation of those rules, and, and a fair application. And, and that's what we do and why our contribution has been such a major part of Hong Kong's success. Investor education is the other side of the coin to safeguarding investor interest. Knowledge is the best and most basic protection for any investor. Because financial markets have become increasingly complex, the SFC uses multiple channels and platforms to enhance investors' understanding of the importance of making informed investment decisions. Oh, okay. 明白，明白，明白。要決定市場嘅質素係有好多嘅因素，例如市場嘅透明度、秩序、效率同埋投資者保障都係一樣咁重要嘅。Fostering market development is one way the SFC strikes a balance as a regulator. While safeguarding investor interest, the SFC also helps ensure that Hong Kong retains its spirit as a free market. And in preparing your formal application, you may want to refer to the guidelines for the regulation of automated trading services. It sets out. Take the providers of automated trading services, or ATS, for instance. Among them are major overseas futures exchanges, whose presence in Hong Kong provides a convenient way for investors to use the overseas futures markets for trading and hedging. In addition to efficiency, orderliness, and transparency, the choice of products also plays an important role in helping the growth of a quality market. To be fair and to be able to apply regulations without fear or favour, the SFC guards its independence, both structural and financial. It's funded by levies on transactions conducted on the stock and futures exchanges, as well as fees charged to market participants. It remains sensitive to the needs for regulatory reform and is committed to constantly fine-tuning its approach in line with the ever-changing global financial environment.